Happy Vlogmas Day 6! Uh, so I went to the store and I found... Oh, I didn't bring the um, package. I should go get it. Oh well, it's a Panera Autumn Squash Soup. Let's see if you can see it. So we're gonna do a taste test on that. I found these at Costco, I joined Costco, and my friend went with me and she's like, do you have any senior discounts? And I'm like, no, and she's like, well, is there something you can do? So she talked to me into giving me a $20 gift card, which was basically brought the membership down to $40 a year. So I found this at Costco, and then today I saw they have it at Walmart too. It says BP free. I would call them a non, but they're calling them pita bread, but they're gluten free. Uh, what else are they? Gluten free, wheat free, vegan friendly, non GMO. So that's what they look like. And. I usually get Sabra hummus, but they didn't have it, so I got this kind. I always like the roasted garlic, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to try the naan in the soup and in the hummus. So we'll tear a little piece of this off. I had some, or bought, um, I also bought at Costco, it was these little packages you just stick in the microwave and they're uh, lentils and beans. And so I made those and threw a little bit of sausage that I had left over from something in it. And then I scooped it up with this naan stuff and it was yummy. And I bought a box of eight and those will be gone in no time. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see what we think of this. I really like the Sabra, so I hope it's the equivalent. Mm, not bad. Not as good as Sabra. I know you're supposed to mix the garlic in, but at our house I get yelled at if I mix it in. They want to save it. They eat it all around it and save the garlic part till the very end. So I got a big old blob on this time. Mm. It's good. This would probably be better if I heated it up. I didn't. I was being lazy. Okay. Let's put some in this soup and scoop, scoop some soup. <laughs> hmm. This is not what I expected. I expected it to be spicy and it's sweet. Hmm. Not a real fan. wonder if I put some hot sauce in it, if it would be better. I mean, it's okay, but I don't know. Sweet soup is just a little weird to me. <laughs> I have some hot sauce. I might throw some of that in there and see if it's any better. I suppose I had some of this at Panera's before, and it was spicy. It wasn't sweet. There's a little piece of onion in it. It's really thick. I'm going to go get some hot sauce and see if that helps. Okay, we're going to try some of this. This is some off-brand my roommate had and left. Um, I usually get Frank's red hot sauce. This looks similar, so hopefully it's good. I don't know how you open it. There we go. Come on. All right. Let's put some of this in. Ooh, smells hot. So that's about how much I put in. We'll see if that's enough or too much. Well, I can smell the hot clay over here. Hmm, still doesn't taste hot. Still tastes sweet. Let's put some more in. It's kind of like Tabasco, I think.
Mm. Now's all I can taste is the vinegar from the hot sauce, but it doesn't taste that hot. It just tastes vinegary. <laughs> well, that was a fail. I mean, I'll eat it. I'm not one to waste food. Went to the store and I got, I don't know, I got bleach, that soup, the the yeah, hummus, some grapes, a couple boxes of the popsicles I like that are fruit juice ones that I try to, I'm trying to eat better. I have them for like an evening snack because they're only like 60 calories. A couple other little things, but not very much stuff, and it was $73. Ugh, every time I go to the store, I mean, between Costco this week and this, I spent 160 bucks, and I didn't get hardly nothing. It's crazy how much groceries are. I don't know how they expect people on fixed incomes to survive. It's like, do you want to take your medicine and live? and not eat or do you want to not eat well yeah or you want to eat and not take your medicine that's what it's coming down to luckily i have some decent insurance and it costs me it's not cheap it's 70 something now and i'm sure it'll go up more say 80 85 maybe next year and but i take probably six or seven different medicines and they're all free for the 90 day supply with the insurance I have. So that's not too bad. Mm. The hummus is good. And this, this non's really good or whatever they're calling it, pita bread. But when I made it, made it, had it before with the lentils, I heated it up and it was better heated up. But so if you're gluten free, Lori, <laughs> try, try this non stuff. It's pretty good. When you're gluten free, it's hard to find bread type things that are any good. So this was okay. Not my favorite, but it was okay. This, eh. I didn't like its sweetness, and then when I added all that hot sauce, I didn't get the hot out of it, I just got vinegar out of it. So now it tastes like sweet vinegar. <laughs> so that yeah, was sort of a fail. I don't know. I made it even worse putting the hot sauce in it because it totally tastes like vinegar, no hot at all it's like eating a big old spoonful of vinegar i may have to throw that out and just go back to eating it the other half because that's like a thing about this big this is about half of it in this cup so the other half i'm just gonna have to suck it up and eat it sweet because putting that hot sauce in oh it's so vinegary i don't know if i'm supposed to shake it up maybe i don't know but i think i'm throwing this out because it doesn't taste hot, it just tastes like vinegar. Let's see what's the main ingredient. Aged red cayenne pepper, distilled vinegar, salt, garlic powder, and xanthium gum. I'm surprised vinegar isn't the number one ingredient because that's all I can taste is vinegar. Whew. Pucker your, could you pucker your word up? <laughs> well, hope you're enjoying these, um, Christmas vlog messes. I went to a um, craft fair today, but I'm gonna, I'm waiting to upload this on Tuesday because you know, taste test Tuesday. But if you haven't seen the craft fair one, go back and look, I'm putting it up on Sunday. So it'll, all, by the time this one comes up, that'll already be up. But I mean, kind of, it was a, used to be an old high school and they had a ton of vendors so this time i went it's a brand new high school and it is huge and i parked the wrong place and had to like wander through the holes trying to find where the craft fair was and the school's really nice brand new school and they, i asked somebody and they said they've got almost four thousand students at it just it's a high school and i'm like wow that's a lot um 
it was okay. I didn't buy anything except this itty bitty thing of fudge that when I do the craft fair one, I'll probably do a taste test on it too. Got some maple, maple walnut fudge. Mmm, love maple walnut. I don't know what it is about Texas, but they don't have maple stuff very much. Like when I lived in California, I'd always get, what if I get a donut, which I don't need more. <coughs> Glute, whole gluten thing. <coughs> but I'd get the Long Johns with maple on them, maple frosting on them. But they don't have that kind of stuff. Once in a while, you can find a maple donut, but not very often. I mean, maple's just not a big thing down here in the South, I guess. More up north and in California, it seemed to be pretty popular. Alrighty, that's it for Vlogmas number six. So, hope you're enjoying these. I'm kind of having fun with it, trying to come up with ideas. I have a every plate, two more servings, you know, two more meals to make. So, somebody asked for me to make something. So I will make one of those or I might make a dessert like a Chris, I made Christmas fudge for my granddaughter. I should have filmed that. I make the, um, the kind you make with marshmallow cream. It always turns out smooth and creamy, but I don't eat Christmassy desserts much anymore. Like with the kids, I usually, once my granddaughter gets home, I usually make Christmas cookies with them, but now they kind of want to do it themselves. They don't want me to do it anymore. Because <laughs> their mom does a advent calendar for them and it's got some of them as like little gifts, but a lot of it is like I'm going over on Wednesday, tomorrow, it's just tomorrow. If you're watching this on Tuesday, I'm going over Wednesday and make the advent is Grandma Pat's homemade hot chocolate. So I'm going over Wednesday after school and make homemade hot chocolate. I make it from scratch. I mean, everything's from scratch. So I make that every year. I mean, sometimes it'll snow in the winter a little bit or ice up. And so I'll always make them hot chocolate when it does that. And then I, that's always one of the advents is me making them hot chocolate. So I'm going over Wednesday for that, and I bought. I hope it gets. Hope it gets here by Wednesday. My grandson's really into. He's into fedoras, which is if you don't know, it's a hat with it's got a brim and you know kind of a classy looking hat, and Hawaiian shirts. He can't wear those to school because he has to wear a uniform. So this is his, you know, way of expressing himself outside of school because you get sick of wearing uniforms. So I found a. When it comes in, I'll show it to you. I, I found a Christmas Hawaiian shirt. And it's got, I forget what, if I got the blue one? I don't know, it's got Santa surfing and Santa in his sleigh and just different Santa seeds with palm trees and things. So it's Hawaiian-y and Christmassy. <laughs> so just, that's one of those just because I love you things. It's not for birthday, Christmas, anything like that. It's a just because thing. Alrighty, well, that's it. So these were kind of a bust. The hummus isn't real strong flavored and the soup was, especially after I added the hot sauce, it really made it nasty. <laughs> so I might have to find something else for lunch because, you know, this is what I'm trying to eat for lunch and it's not, not cutting it. You know, in case you didn't see, looky my little penguin sweater. I have on today with snowflakes. Isn't it cute? And I love this color on me. I look good in red. Alrighty, that's it. See you tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye-bye.